Climbing is always going to be a fitness test to a certain degree, but when things get harder, some skills are going to help you out. Loose rocky climbs can be really hard work. Momentum's going to be your friend here, so it means you're going to have to pedal hard, but also your skills and good line choice can help you keep that momentum. You can find the back wheel spinning up on the loose rocks, which is super frustrating. So this is a bit of an exercise in agility, trying to keep your line, but also keep your balance. So I'm often sort of swinging my weight side to side, but trying to stay seated, trying to keep the bike in the right line, but move my body around to keep my balance. Keep pedaling where you can, and just try and plug on. Shorter, steeper sections you might find that you can use that momentum to find your way up them. But on the longer ones, you have to keep plugging away, and get a sweat going. Trying to find the well-worn line and avoid the biggest of the rocks that's gonna move if I hit them. And try and keep that all-important momentum, which is gonna get harder because this climb is quite long. When climbing up steps, they don't have to be very big to stop you dead. Sometimes on the smaller ones, you can just plow into them and use your power to drag you up them. But when they get bigger, you can have to start unweighting the wheel. So I've got a big log step here. On the way in, the best thing to do is to wheelie up your front wheel. You're never gonna get a manual, so you're not gonna be able to get the speed to stop pedaling. So wheelie the front wheel up and then use your hips up and forward to again, pick the back wheel up, get it back on the floor as soon as you can to get it driving again. On the steepest of sections or steps like I've just done, you're going to need to get your front wheel up and over and then it's a real big thrust with the hips. And that's just the same as doing that second half of the bunny hop where you're trying to lift the back wheel. So it's all about really throwing your hips up and forward and scooping with your feet to get the back wheel up. On something like this, it almost becomes a trials manoeuvre because it's so slow. And next, we're going on to how to use trials to get up steep climbs. We've done a few videos on how your trial skills can help your mountain bike skills overall, and it really does help here. So front wheel lifts, rear wheel lifts, short bursts of explosive power, track stands, are really gonna help when you haven't got space to use momentum and speed. So I'm actually gonna need a bit of momentum to go up this step, which means pushing the big gear Oh, then using that hip thrust. Oh, it's quite tiring that. Right, spot my line, use track stand, and away I go again. Oh, loads of power. Made up that easy bit. Seat up, and I can dig in to the proper climb. On tricky sections like that, it's really important to be in the right gear. Actually pushing a slightly harder gear. It's gonna be hard to begin with, but when you get into the meat of the climb, that's when you need that gear because you really don't want to be shifting when you're under loads of power like that. If you really do have to shift, give it a few hard cranks, then back off. On steep but smooth climbs, balancing the weight front to rear is going to be key. You need to keep some weight on that rear tire to keep it driving, but if you let it go too far back, you're going to start wheeling. Again, speed's gonna really help you get up these steep climbs, help you keep that grip on the rear tire. But once you commit, you've gotta be sure that you'll be able to keep that effort up all the way to the top. Otherwise, you're gonna run out of puff and have to stop. So a few key things gonna help you with technical climbs is trying to plan your gear shift as early as you can, practice your trial skills, and getting fitter is always gonna help you climb a bit better. If you want to hear some information from the Cross Country Race Pros, click over here for that one. If you want some skills for your loose corners, click over there for that one. Give a thumbs up if you like to challenge yourself up climbs and hit that sub button.